three phase full wave controller then bidirectional controller and the circuit as shown and the supply voltage is VAN equals to root 2 times Vs sin omega t which is nothing but Vm sin omega t and Vbn equals to root 2 times Vs of sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3 which is again Vm sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3 and Vcn is equals to root 2 times Vs sin omega t minus 4 pi by 3 which is Vm sin omega t minus 4 pi by 3. Instantaneous input line to line voltages that is Vab can be formed by using the formulas that is Van minus Vbn. Then if you substitute these values and apply the formula that is the sin A minus sin B, this formula can be used while solving this is equals to 2 cos A plus B by 2 sin A minus B by 2. Then you will be getting Vab equals to root 6 times Vs sin omega t plus pi by 6. Again in terms we can write root 3 times of Vm sin omega t plus pi by 6. Vb is equals to root 3 times Vm sin omega t minus pi by 2 and Vca is equals to root 3 times Vm sin omega t minus 7 pi by 6. Input phase voltages, these are input line voltages. Let us draw this in graph as a waveforms. We have already seen how to draw waveforms for this in the previous topic. The link is given in the below description. Please go through it. Coming to the load part, we have star connected or Y connected a resistive load. Coming to the controller part, we have thyristors T1, T3, T5 in positive direction and in negative direction or return path will be shared by T2, T4 and T6. T1 is connected to VAN. Negative path of VAN is connected to T4. So when this is on, this cannot be turned on. T3 is connected to VBN and the return path is shared by T6. T5 is connected to VCN and the return path is connected to T2. When this thyristor is turned on, we cannot turn on the thyristor T4. Similarly, when T3 is turned on, we cannot turn on the T6. When T5 is turned on, T2, we cannot turn on. Possible combinations. When T1 is turned on, we can turn on T6 and T2 for return path. When T3 is turned on, we can turn on T4 and T2 for return path. When T5 is turned on, we can turn on T4 and T6 for return path. In case if T1 and T2 turns on, what happens? Then when T1 and T3 is turns on, the current is going to flow in positive direction at the same time, then the return path will be shared by T2. So when these two are turned on, these two we cannot turn on, so we can turn on the T2. So we have the combinations where first combination is three thyristors works at a time. Second combination is two thyristor works at a time. So in this combination, we can turn on one positive thyristor and two negative thyristors in first combination. Similarly, two positive thyristors and one negative thyristor. In second one, we can turn on positive negative. Third combination, only one thyristor turns on. When only one thyristor turns on, there, is, there won't be any return path or forward path. So the voltage cannot reach the load where the load voltage will become zero. This is regarding the turning on the thyristors. The thyristor can be turned off when the next thyristor is turned on or when it currents attempts to flow in reverse direction in that particular thyristor. This is our forward path where T1, T3, T5 can turn on and T6, T2 and T4 can turn on in the reverse path and this cycle is going to repeat. Okay. If you observe, the thyristor is turned on at 0 degrees and this can be 
kept in on position up to 180 degrees until 180 degrees there is a positive VAN whereas the load current is going to depend upon even on the line to line voltage. So line to line voltage will become zero at 210 since it's going to depend upon VAC. So we can operate from zero to 210 as seen in the previous topic. Okay, but here what is happening is thyristor T1 is turned on at 0 degrees. So thyristor T3 can be turned on at 0 degrees. In this period, this is 120 to 180 period. T1 is on, T3 can be turned on and T2 is already in operation in the reverse direction. So we will get three combinations between 120 to 180 degrees. That is T1, T3, T2. Now, let's shift to 0. Then here, T1 is turned on. Before T1 turns on, T5 and T6 are already in operation. So the possible combination when alpha is between 0 to 60 degrees, three thyristors can work at a time. There is a possibility of two thyristors works at a time. And third possibility is between 90 and 150 degrees. Two thyristors work at a time or one thyristor will work example so first one if t1 t3 and t2 are in operation that is v a b flowing through c then you will be getting v a b as output when two thyristors are working t1 is turned on t2 is in operation v a c by 2 will be the output when only one thyristor operates the output voltage will be zero for alpha equals to 60 and 120 degrees we have forms in the textbook so please go through any of the textbook we'll try to draw wave forms for alpha equal to 90 degrees this t1 is turned on so t1 can turn on here and this can be kept on until 2 tenths this is my t1 okay now Okay, okay. Now T3 can turn on at 210. T3. T5 can turn on T5 again since the cycle repeats again. T2 is turned on at 90 degrees. So here it is starting T2. Right, 150. What is turned on is at T270. T2. And this is T4. And T6 can turn on at this point. So you observe here. From 60 to 90, 90 degrees or 90 degrees, we can find that two thyristors work at a time. This condition is satisfied. Between 0 and 30, T5 and T4 is turned on. Between this, T5, T6 here, T5 and T6 here, T1, T6. In this period, T1, T6 here, T1, T2 here, T1, T2. Here, T3, T2, T3, T2, T3, T4, T3, T4, T5, T4. Now, T5 and T4. T5 belongs to C and T4 belongs to A. And T5 is in forward path and T4 is in reverse path. So, B, C, A by half. And here T5 and T6, V, B, C by half, T5, T6, so V, B, C by half, T1, T6, V, A, B by half, T1, T6, V, A, B by half, T1, T2, V, C, A by half, V, C, A by half, T3, T2, V, B, C by half, V, B, C by half. T3, T4, VAB by half, VAB by half, T5, T4, that is VCA by half. Then you're going to draw voltages, the load, VAN, try to note down where A is involved. This is A is involved, A, VCA, and VCA, A is involved. Here A is not involved, A here again A is involved, A involved, A involved, here A involved. Here V, 
AB by 2. This is VAB, right? By 2 is nothing but half of this. This is VAB by 2. Half of it. This is VAC by 2. VAB, negative direction. Half of it. Next, V C A half of it. This is V A B by two, V A C by two, V C A, V A C by two. This is regarding V A N. Let us try to draw V B N. So, just note on the B's are available. Now, let us try to draw that. T3 is going to turn on here, VBC by 2, you see, VBC by 2. Next, this is VAB by 2. Similarly, half of it. This is regarding maybe. Now from this, uh, you please draw the waveforms for BC and then check when the alpha is 150, T1 is going to turn on here, T3 is going to turn on here, T5 will turn on here. From here to 210 degrees, this is T1, and here to here, T3, here to here, T5, here to here, T2, and here to here, T4, here to here, T6. If you observe that, for only one thyristor is going to work at any instant so when only one thyristor is turned on then there won't be any return path for example when t1 is turned on there is no other thyristor working in this area between 150 and 210 so there is no return path then the output voltage will be zero from all this discussion we can say that the firing angle alpha or else the delay angle alpha we have whatever call is going to operate between zero and 150 degrees only